So you didn't mean that some Nazis were good? No, I meant all Nazis are bad. But do you think every individual person... Never mind, I'm just, I'm just not gonna... I f probably I for the best. I f up. Yeah, I would say so. So uh, we're waiting right outside of Langevin block right now uh, as Justin Trudeau is about to leave and depart to the speech from the throne, which is just down the road that way at the old uh, train house. That's where the Senate has been moved to uh, while center block is being renovated. This is the door we expect him to come out to into his uh, vehicle. And I want to ask him a very simple question. I want to know why he and his ministers, Minister Gilbo and Minister McKenna, have uh, very specifically talked about censoring the internet, censoring digital media, and if there is some sort of plan for his government to do that, to double down on his current efforts, and maybe something new is coming out of this throne speech, to censor the internet, to censor social media before the next election, which could come as early as tomorrow. What's interesting right now, actually, is that currently across the street from Langevin Block, there's a pretty large protest that's growing. Uh, they're, you know, opposed to a few things, mainly Trudeau, uh, and that might be the cause of some sort of delay coming out of Langevin Block. There's a few signs that say Trump for PM, Trudeau for treason. Uh, it's a very interesting crowd over there, and I'm sure Trudeau isn't uh, excited to start his day where, you know, it's a lot of pomp and circumstance today. I'm sure he's not excited to start it on such a sour note. You didn't start speaking up about China until you lost your UN seat. Is that why you finally grew a spine on China? So we're here at the speech from the throne. Uh, dignitaries are coming in and out, and there's lots of people gathered outside. Uh, lots of folks who are opposed to masks, opposed to Justin Trudeau personally, uh, and then lots of like pro-Indigenous, Black Lives Matter people. One man had a F the police shirt on, uh, which I thought was interesting. And just in the background, while I was interviewing this lady here that you're seeing right now, he said that not all Nazis were bad. I was, I was really confused by that statement, so I went and chatted with him. Sorry, could I bug you for a quick sec? I just heard what you said. Not every Nazi is bad, but Nazis are bad. Could okay, you elaborate? Okay, 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 so I just made a really bad analogy, that's all. Right? I was trying to say that, because like, my shirt says the police, right? So I'm not trying to say every police officer is a bad person, right? But the institution of all police is a bad thing, right? And then I just made an analogy trying to call cops Nazis. I shouldn't have said that. So you didn't mean that some Nazis were good? No, I meant all Nazis are bad, but do you think every individual person... Never mind, I'm just, I'm just not gonna... I f Probably for the I f best. Up, I f up. Yeah, I would say so. So I, I think it's safe to say that most of these people, uh, particularly the radical BLM, radical uh, indigenous radicals, a lot of the time they don't know what they're talking about uh, when it comes to their, their, their the police slogans and some Nazis are good, I guess. I am really confused by that one. Uh, safe to say, maybe they shouldn't be dictating government agenda, but Justin Trudeau seems to be listening. Uh, we saw cl clips from the speech from the throne, and it seems like he's broadly in support of the Black Lives Matter movement and the radical movement that is burning down the United States as we speak, both literally and figuratively. Um, so we'll stay tuned with more reporting later about the, con the, the further talk from the speech from the throne. One other point I'd want to note is that Alberta was mentioned just once and it was mentioned in the context of uh, basically destroying the Alberta oil sands. So we'll have more coverage of that later to come. Hey, thanks for tuning in to Rebel News. Be sure to like and subscribe to this video. If you've already done that, I would much appreciate it if you go to helprebelnews.com. If you go there, you can pitch in a few bucks to help me and my cameraman stay on the road as we cover stories that the mainstream media doesn't want you to hear about.